How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up the Kindle, the Paperwhite Kindle. And right now we are on the beginning screen. This is the first screen you see when you turn it on. So I kind of want to walk you through the setup. Uh, what exactly, you know, each one is asking you. And let's get it set up and kind of give you just a little bit more education about it. So first thing obviously is asking for the language. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see the screen better. Probably about right there. And I'm going to pick English. Feel free to pick the language that is uh, most comfortable for you. Um, U.S. English. Okay. And so now it's um, loading here. And the, usually the next thing it's going to ask you is to connect to your Wi-Fi. And it will ask for your Kindle account. So uh, as long as you have an account with Amazon, you'll just log in. If you don't have an account, then you will have to set up an account. So uh, FYI there. Right off the bat, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I see they've made some good changes. The touchscreen actually feels a lot more responsive. I love the premium material so far. So I'm, I think this could probably be a winner. You know, every year now they are upgrading them and changing them, modifying them. But, you know, when they get a winner, they sometimes will keep it a little bit longer. So we will see. And we're just about done here with the setup. Or excuse me, with the uh, just the initial loading, and again, it will have a couple of more questions for us. All right, and here we go. Surprise! Oh, okay, so we're on our get started screen. Um, first ever paper white display, high contrast, high resolution, built-in light. A week battery, a lot of stuff I kind of shared in the unboxing. Let's go ahead and get started. Just tap, get started, um, get started. And like I said, it's asking for our Wi-Fi. We're going to tap connect to Wi-Fi. And then it will look for a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to tap Miss Threw It Off, which is my network. And then we will enter the password. All right, now that the password has been entered, we're going to go ahead and tap connect. And then it will connect to the network. And the connection normally takes, it's usually pretty quick. And the next thing it's asking for now is, again, our Amazon account. So if you have an account on Amazon.com, just go ahead. You're gonna, it's going to ask for your email and password. If you have an existing, tap use an existing Amazon account. And um, the benefits of that, especially if you had a previous Kindle before for, or if you ever had an iPad or an iPhone or uh, if you ever use the Kindle app, any book that you've ever purchased under that account, you'll be able to uh, sync on the new Kindle just by logging into your account. So uh, don't create a new account, especially if you already have one, sign into your old one so you can get all those books back on your new Kindle, okay? So I'm going to tap use an existing account. And let me go ahead and put in my email and password. All right, now that my email and password is in, I'm going to tap register. And so now it's uh, making its final connection. It's making sure my account's legit. It already has my um, Facebook and Twitter synced. And now I'm going to tap next. And that's going to be helpful later on when it comes to reading because you will be able to share quotes and, you know, kind of interact your reading with your social network as well. You can also tweak things you liked in the text. So we'll definitely get into that as well. Now it's giving us a simple explanation here about uh, all your books. Um, so right now, again, because I have had an account on Amazon before and I've downloaded books, I'm going to be able to download those. They're going to, it's going to actually show up on the device. And right here it says, all your books are archived for free in the cloud. Tap on the cloud to see your full library. Tap on device to see items you've downloaded to the Kindle. So right here we have device and we have cloud. And then it's telling me here, hey, to open a book, just tap it. And then it's given, you know, it gives you a brief tutorial just from the beginning to kind of give you the basics in case you never used them before. So tap this area, tap that area, tap up here for the menu and to change the fonts and whatnot. So it gives you a full, you know, just a little basic tutorial. I'm going to be doing a, a for beginners guide as well. So I'll make sure to kind of go over everything as well. And we'll actually walk through it and I'll show you examples. I always feel like that's the best way to learn is to, you know, kind of visually watch someone do it. And you can obviously pick it up a lot quicker. And wow, they show you everything. They show you even how to, um, how to, um, 
pull up the menus and the words. So pretty much we are past the um oh wait hold on tap here. Let me just try and get to this here. But we're pretty much past the setup. At this point it's fully set up. I just really want you to walk through um oh what is it? Oh, you can drag it. It says tap tap to create press hold oh wait press hold and drags this is all new actually originally the, these Kindles didn't have these features it was more so um, like the Kindle Fire those are the touchscreen is better so as you can see they really upgraded the touchscreen so now you can do a lot of what you normally could do with the the more expensive Kindles now the lower end ones have those same capabilities because the touch is better so we're still going through just the initial what is what the prime and usually this is like a couple of pages they really are going in depth to make sure you understand everything so again I'll still be doing my full video for beginners to kind of give you the full information there but uh, we're set up okay a couple of things if you didn't have an Amazon account and you had to set one up on here it's very important that you do put your credit card uh, connected with the account because it won't let you download books until you have a credit card on the account so be mindful of that you may get an error later on when you try to download that may say oh can't because you don't have an account sync so just keep that in mind and with that being said this has been um, the how to set up the paper white Kindle Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.